Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the seventh episode of Dead Discussion. And right now, well, let me present myself. My name is Lau, you already know. And right now, I have you today at X Mahomes. What's up, y'all? How are you? You look, you look humble, bro. Like, this, 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 this don't fade you, bro. Like, I be in front of the camera, I be nervous. You just, like, just chilling, like. You're more nervous you get, the more you mess up. <laughs> you just too humble. Yeah, man. I need to be on your level. What's good, though, bro? Nice to have you here, man. Tune in. This is your boy Denaro, aka Young Denaro, and now tuning in to Daily Discussion. It's nice to have you here. I, I see, I see you, I see you around a lot. And I always be like, yo, this guy is so humble. Like, <laughs> like it's either you look like the type of person where you're all about business. Or you just like you have a lot to accomplish, and you always look that look like that type of person. Like I think I would say it's a little bit of both. You know? Who doesn't want to accomplish great things? But you know the way I carry myself, I'm always moving with a purpose. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm always going somewhere to do something that I have to get done. Going to make music, going to class, mm-hmm. doing what I gotta do, get where I want to be. Okay, okay, okay. What what who's like inspired you to have the name X? Well, my name is Xavier. That okay. that name is like from birth. Oh, like, I've always been called X. Like my dad called me X. My mom called me X. My grandma. Mm-hmm. I'm everybody calls me X. So naturally, when I went to school, everybody just called me X. But I just like wow. Did yeah. you tell everyone, oh yeah, my name is Xavier? Or you just be like, yo, just call me X, buddy. Um, when I was younger, I used to say like, call me Xavier, but like mm-hmm. it just got to the point where so many people call me X that like if you ask who's X, they would like say me. You know, so I started call me X. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's annoying because they be like, oh yeah, like I told my name is Shaquille, yeah. and they be like, oh, like the basketball player, like <laughs> every time, like everywhere I travel, and this is why I don't even say, Sha- I be like, yo, my name's Loud, like just call me Loud, yeah. that's my daily discussion name, but if you call me Shaq, then that's cool, but don't come to me and be like, oh yeah, Shaquille O'Neal, that plays basketball, <laughs> like I get that every day. Mm-hmm. But I also say like I also just say X because like a lot of the time when I say my name, mm-hmm. girls be like, oh, like how do you spell that? Like they get too into it. And I'm like, it's just X. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So what made you start rapping? Um, so like I never rapped at all before. Like I never thought about rapping. I never like wanted to be a rapper. Never mm-hmm. inspired it. But I always loved hip hop from the start. Like mm-hmm. my dad, like two years old, two years old, three years old, bumping Jay Z in the car. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I always loved like hip hop, but um, when I came to college my freshman year, mm-hmm. my roommate, like the first day, like we're setting up all our shit or whatever, and he puts up a mic and I'm like, cause he don't look like no rapper, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's like Arabic, he look like some white boy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this kid raps, like what? Mm-hmm. So like, I like, I didn't think much of him at first, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he set it up and he was like, yeah, like I'll show you later. So boom, later comes and mm-hmm. he starts rapping. And I'm like, yo, this nigga's nasty. Like, he was good. Wow. I was like, wow. So I was like, so that inspired me a little bit. Because I was like, if this kid could do it, I could probably do it too. Because I listen to so much music that I feel like it wouldn't be hard for me. So, like, a couple months go by, you know, I was down with, like, this crew called Pack Life. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to ask you. I was like, yeah. I, I was like Pack Life. Yeah, so I came, I came into school. I actually met them my very first day of college. They were my mm-hmm. first friends, like, on campus. I was mm-hmm. the youngest one. All of them were all upperclassmen. So they kind of like took me under their wing, I chilled with them. Mm. And they would always rap, like they would freestyle, they'd be like dissing each other and shit. So oh, I thought, wow. to me it was just fun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah. like, eventually they were like, yo, like, just hop on a mic and spit something. Mm-hmm. And like, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna just go spit. So I remember I spit my first, like, verse, like I wrote it out and all that, and I spit it. And they were like, wow. They were like, yo, that was lit. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, word? I so see like, I see you walking around campus and I'll be like I'm like, yo, this man and I see you chill with pack life and I'm like man. I wonder who approached who first. Like <laughs> I wonder if they just seen him and were just like, yo, you like a cool dude, like <laughs> it was it was like, kinda like I'm chill with us, you feel me? Like honestly, the first time we met we just like like whenever you cipher with somebody I feel like you get close right off the bat. You know what facts, I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. When you cipher yeah. with somebody you talk about deeper shit, you know what I'm saying? You make a connection. So the mm-hmm. first time we met, like literally first time we cipher. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, those are my bros, you know what I'm saying? They've been my bros for life, so. That's what's up, that's what's yeah. up. So, like, they made me rap, whatever, you know. After that, I started rapping a lot because my roommate, he had the mic, he had everything. Mm-hmm. 
and we just started working, you know, I was getting better and better. So like at that point I was just doing it for fun. And then like about a year ago, like we like advanced. Like we bought more equipment, we got a better mic, you know, everything was sounding clear. Mm-hmm. And people were like, yo, like you could really do this like as a real thing, like you mm-hmm. could do this as like a job. So I was like, you know what, like maybe I should take the chance, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. by this time I was like in love with music. Like mm-hmm. I love making music, like I don't love anything more than making music. Right. So I was like, yo, like maybe I should just like take this to the next level. So I started putting out songs on like SoundCloud and shit. Mm-hmm. And people were fucking with it. Like especially like back home, like people were like, yo, you're nice. So I was like, why why should I stop? Back home love right? is the best one. Yeah, facts. For real. Because probably back at home, I don't know if you have many rappers mm-hmm. that come from where you from. <laughs> and it's like, you know, they see you as someone that can like you know, bring that, bring your city out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, what, what projects are you working on? I see you coming out with songs yeah, back to um, back. I've been working on, like, I've just been putting out freestyles, because, like, that's one thing I love to do, like, the most, is just, like, rap on another person's beat, mm-hmm. you know, because they, they come with their own special flow and style, mm-hmm. and I like to go and switch it up and put my own, like, spin on it. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing that. I'm, uh, I'm going to put out, like, a couple more singles, and then I'm putting out a full tape mm-hmm. next, next month, like, January. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That's gonna be some fire. That's what's up. What topics are you trying to touch based on that um, project? Well, the title of the project is Vibes. So like mm-hmm. it's just it's basically like the vibe of my life, the stuff I go through. Like I a lot of the songs is just like stuff that I personally go through in my life. Like a lot, I, I talk about women a lot just because I deal with a lot of women and I deal with a lot of different situations. Mm-hmm. So in a lot of songs I'll be talking about like either like a breakup or like how I'm doing somebody wrong when I shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Or I talk I talk about like how I don't like going home a lot because shit's hectic back home, you know, and I don't want to deal with certain things. So I talk about like real life shit, but then I also talk about like the fun part of my life, like going out, spending money, you know, mm-hmm. going shopping. So you balance it out, turn up. Yeah, I balance right? it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I want to make music that anybody can listen to and anybody can relate to. So mm-hmm. to do that, you can't be like one rounded. You need to be well rounded. Right. Um, so let's say you blow up. Mm-hmm. When you blow up, <laughs> that's why. That's why I like to say when you blow up because mm-hmm. it just, you know, I don't want like saying if when you blow up, um, and it comes to a point where you become mainstream. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that when rappers usually go from underground to mainstream, it's something. It's there's a certain different level, mm-hmm. and executives are gonna be like, well, in this rap, you need to cut this off, and you cut this off. Do you feel like you? see yourself being mainstream when it comes to that point or would you want to stay like underground but still be noticed? I would definitely mix the two because one, I like I don't mind mainstream music. Like I don't mind music that just makes me bob my head or turn mm-hmm. up to in the club, you know what I'm saying? I like making music like that. So I feel like I would have to balance both but at the same time I'm always going to keep true to myself because at the end of the day, to be honest, I don't really care about being famous. Like, I don't want to be famous. I don't want people coming up. Like, I don't care about people coming up to me. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, sign this, you know, people being on my dick low key. You know what I mean? Just because right. I'm famous. Like, I really don't care about that because I feel like that's just going to bring a lot of fakeness. Mm-hmm. I really just want to do music because that's what I love. And I want to get paid a lot of money for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And have the respect, too. That's big with me, too. Like, as a rapper, like, I just want respect from other rappers in my period. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I work hard. I spend time to write out my raps. I spend time to work on these beats. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like respect and uh, just doing what I love is the most important thing. Fame to me is not like a big deal. You right. know what I mean? So like I feel like it wouldn't get to my head and I'd be like, oh, I gotta put a club record out now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I'll put out what I wanna put out. And yeah. the true fans will rock with me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like a person like J. Cole, he doesn't really put much like mainstream stuff, especially no. now. Like mm-hmm. before he was a little bit, you know, he put like a couple singles out yeah, of course for the radio. Yeah. yeah. But like now he's not on that, right? Mm-hmm. And people be like People would be like, oh, J. Cole's trash, blah, 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 like all the people who like mumble rap and whatnot. But like, mm. he's the top, he's top three. Like top three sales, like Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, top three. People who don't just spit about nothing. You know what I'm saying? They spit about real shit, they're like, so at the end of the day, spitting about your life will connect to people more than just talking about going to the club and popping perks. You know what I'm saying? See, I, I, I like what you just said because you said Drake is top three. <laughs> And it always, it, I always ask somebody, I'm like, if you like someone that talks about their life, what, what Drake talks about that, that's, that's so in his life, like, I'm just like, <laughs> yo, like, I hear this 
I don't know. Like I, I I'm just so confused. Like, so, so you think he doesn't talk about his life? No, not at all, bro. He does. Like I feel like when Drake raps, you really hear what he's going through it at that moment. Like Drake back then, he was talking about a lot more different things because he wasn't really big yet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like when Drake first came out, compared to now, completely different Drake. But at the same time, he's at a completely different level. Mm-hmm. You know, he sees probably surrounded by women, surrounded by money, surrounded mm-hmm. by goons, probably. You know, he's that's why that's why his goons. music is probably getting more aggressive wow. because he's keeping more, he's keeping different people around him. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So like, obviously, he's gonna rap differently. But I feel like Drake definitely top three. I don't so, think so this leads up to my next question: What rappers inspire you? <laughs> Um, well, I get inspired by like a lot of people, like from like old people. Like I like Jay Z. Jay Z at first, Jay Z, Nas, you know Biggie, mm-hmm. like the legends basically. Mm-hmm. But I also like people like Drake, Kanye, J Cole. Um, even somebody like Future can really inspire me. If I hear a wow, good, really? if I hear a Future song that bumps, it'll inspire me to go make some turn up shit. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So you whatever like, vibe you listening to at this time. Yeah, right? like I could be listening to Bryson Tiller and I'll go write a song about the girl or something. Wow. So I, like it really depends. I like all types of music. I don't discriminate. So like mm. I could get a vibe from anybody. I feel like if they're not trash. That's true. I I, I guess so because yeah. you uh, like it's obvious that if you want to make it like kind of and I see this with a lot of rappers like I said mm-hmm. they balance it out with turn up and lyrics. Yeah. But most most rappers now like. When they blow, they were like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do straight turn up. I don't mm-hmm. care. Even though they did lyrics in the beginning, they like, yo, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do turn up and that's it. Like, And that's fine to me. Like, if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. Because some people, like, making turn up music is fun. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, making a real song, like, about your life and that's like a story, mm-hmm. it's a lot more time to sit down and write. Mm-hmm. And some people don't wanna express their emotions like that on the track. So, that's you know true. what I'm saying? It's way easier to just be like, oh, I'm in the club, room in the dub, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. way, it's way easier to just talk Probably about some fun shit. They don't want to stress out for the music, like, they're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna write, like, the silliest shit, and people yeah. just don't fuck with it, like, that's, that's the thing about it. What message are you trying to spread with your music, like, with every song, like, what, what message are you trying to spread? I would say, music? like, I'm really just trying to spread, like, showcase me, who I am, you know, because mm. people don't know who I am, I'm not famous, I'm mm. not on magazine. Mm-hmm. You don't see me in the news. So like when I tell music, I tell like personal experiences, stuff that I go through. I'll I'll talk about shit with my family. I'll talk about if I'm stressed, if I'm depressed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I talk about real shit like that I feel. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the main thing I want to get across is that they understand who I am and like what I represent and like what mm-hmm. I do in my life. You know, I never try to be somebody I'm not. That's to me. That's that's weak. Very tough person to keep your circle real small. I mean. Yeah. But you like you just like, yo, if you want me to become my friend, become my friend. If you don't, <laughs> fuck it. I'll just walk past by you every day. I just try to like like when it comes to school and shit, like I'll dub people. Like I'll walk past people because I feel like a lot of people like are fake. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They'll say hi to you and I'll say hi to you the next day. Mm-hmm. They say hi to you when they want something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like when it comes down to people who are like my true friends and I keep in my like my crew, like you know what I'm saying, like pack life, mm-hmm. groove. You know, like yeah. people like that, I always hold them down, and I'm always real with them. I'm always there to help them, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not like, if you're not doing nothing for me, like you're not helping mm-hmm. my life, you're not there for me, like well, I gotta talk to you for it. You know what I'm saying? You're not True. helping me grow. So True. That's how I feel about it. How does it feel being in a fraternity? It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? Like, do you actually go to the parties and stuff like that? Like, yeah, that I'm not like, I'm not much of of a party person anymore. Mm-hmm. Cause like I just party so much, I feel like from the age I was party. So like, but it's definitely good to like the feeling of going somewhere, and you have like, cause a lot of the time like me and my boys will go to like Albany and we meet up mm-hmm. with bros there, mm-hmm. and it's always love cause we're bros. You know what I'm saying? We've been mm-hmm. through the same thing. There's that connection, and also like they can introduce you to a lot of other people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's the best part of it. The connections like I've like since I've joined group, I met so many new people. Like mm-hmm. if I never joined the fraternity, like. What's the social fellowship? It's not a fraternity, but if I never joined, like I would have never met all these people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, do you feel like you know this is like a family? Like when you see them, is that family? Yeah, it's always love, for sure. 
I mean, even times, there's like, there might even be like a brother I don't really fuck with, mm. but at the end of the day, it's gonna be love, you know? They'll do, so, they'll do something to help me at the end of the day, just because mm. I'm a brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I just think it's great for anybody to go through. That's what's up, that's what's up. Dude, like, are you into fashion? Fashion? I've been like, I wasn't before, like, I never really cared, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would like to get fresh and stuff, but I never really thought about it, but lately I've been getting more into it, you know, like, that, if you see me, I always wear black. Like I'm, I'm, I'm always. To, I always wear always. black. Always. <laughs> I was like, 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 he's, he's wearing it. I'm wearing, he's wearing the color. <laughs> I like, always wear black, but like I've been like I've been looking more into fashion. You know, mm-hmm. I've been respecting it more and seeing it more as like an art. You know, of course. People definitely put time into making like jackets, shirts, like all these fashion designers. I respect them. Like I have a, there's a brother I know who he does fashion. Mm-hmm. And like I see the stuff he makes, and you could tell like they're very passionate about what they do. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I should respect that. You know what I'm saying? And right. You know, it's always good to get fresh sometimes. You know, they're good for the girls and shit. I hear you. Know? I hear you. Cause you're a low key guy. You're just <laughs> like, yo, my business is my business. Yeah. Your business is your business. It's always you good. Fuck alone. You know, when, <laughs> when you put your shit out there too much, shit gets complicated. Arguments start, you know. If you keep your shit to yourself and just do you, you'll elevate. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have all your business out there, some people they like their business out there. I don't know why. But some <laughs> people they like to get their shit out there. They like to be talked about. I don't know why. Girls getting thoughts and whatnot. But heard you. Know, you. <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm low key and I just do what I gotta do. Right, right. Cause like, I, like, like I said before, like I, I would just, I would just see you and I just be like, yo. I don't know. I was like, I was like he's, he's, he looks like a real cool guy. Like, you go up there and just give him a, I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah. Like, and then this is how it's like, yeah, I'm so about business. A lot of people, they have, like, do. different, like, views on me, I feel like. like. Some people, they feel like, some people tell me, like, I'm intimidating just because, like, I always look serious. Mm-hmm. But that's just, honestly, that's just my face. Like, I always look mad. Like, it's not like I try to walk around looking angry. That's just my face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, um, if I don't fuck with you, you know I don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I don't know, there's no fake shit, you know? That's a fact, that's a fact. Um, what was my ass? Damn, I forgot. <laughs> Damn. I, I took a hell of that pen, and I got a little smack. <laughs> For this interview, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all be. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, with everything, with everything that's going on, I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna touch base on your life real quick. Uh, like, was something that personal that happened? Did anything like that made you become this person where you just like you don't have like an open type of um, um how can I say it? Ah uh, shit. Damn. Like I keep to myself, you mean? Like, yeah, basically. Um I feel like I don't know, like, at first, I was a very, like, as a child, I was a very, like, social child, like, mm-hmm. I was in commercials, like, I was, like, a child, like, yeah, I was, like, in wow. commercials, I was in magazines, I was, like, a child model, and, like, I could dance, like, I could break dance and shit, like, I was a very social person, you know what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. But, like, as I got older, I feel like, I pick up, like, I'm very good at reading people, and I've always been like that, and, like, I feel like, when it got to middle school, high school, you know, you pick up and you see how people act and how, how they do you, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you see how they treat other people. And like, I feel like I learned people enough to like know that you shouldn't let everybody in. You should only let the people who are gonna elevate you in. And like, my parents always like, you know, they always motivated me to do my best and shit, you know, so. True. Like, True. Yeah. And, that's, and that's the thing, like, do your parents support you as a rapper? Yeah, like, they didn't know for a minute until I like I told my dad because my dad is such a hip hop head like me and him like previous before rap like mm-hmm. all my life we had like arguments on rap like wow like I remember like there's been times like we're in my house and like they're cooking and my parents would full go and have like a battle rap like that's how much like they're into hip hop because my parents like they're young they had me young my mom had me when she was like 16 wow so she was young so they they're very in tune with like music mm-hmm. so like you know I'll send a track to my dad or whatever. And he'd be like, yeah, that's fire. You know, sometimes he'll he'll, he'll, he'll critique me, which I like, because I, I hate when people just like, oh, you're nice. oh that's fire. That's like, fire. Yeah, they just yeah. tell me what I want to hear. Like, nah, tell me what I don't want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And he'd be like, yo, like, you need to sound more New York. You know what I'm saying? He'd be like, he'd be wow. like, yeah. Wow. So we, so, like, what do you, because you do sound like you're from New York, kind of like, yeah. I can listen to you and be like, oh, But like, I, sometimes I'll send him some of my, like, if you hear some of my other shit, I don't sound very New York. You know, mm-hmm. like it's more like turn up shit, more trap. Sometimes I do trap shit, 
You know, some some of the more like R and B type sounding songs. I don't sound very New York. You know, yeah, versatile. Yeah, but like, so like, he'll say the songs like that. When he hears the New York shit, though, he'd be like, yo, that's lit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. Before this interview, we was talking, and you said a lot of people don't don't, don't know that you rap period, and you want to keep it that way. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously, I want people to know. Yeah, of course. But I would never throw myself on people. You mm-hmm. know, the, when you throw yourself, like, like I, res- I, I respect the people, because I remember growing up, like, I used to walk around, you know, my block, or, like, go to the store, mm-hmm. or be, like, at Walmart or some shit, and there'll be people passing out tapes. Or mm-hmm. I'll be at the barbershop. A lot of times, it was, like, the barbershop. People would be passing out their tapes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, like, you're passing me out your tape, but you're, like, all up in my face. Like, you're going to make me want to buy your tape if you're all up in my grill trying mm-hmm. to sell your shit, you know? So I feel like it's never, like, you should never throw yourself on people. Mm-hmm. But give them little shit. Like I'll be like, I'll tell people like, if I get to know somebody, I'll be like, yeah, like they'll ask me like hobbies or something. I'll be like, yeah, you know, I write, I make music, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, oh word, and they'll be like, let me hear it. And see, that's a way that you show people. You right. say that you do it, but you don't. You're not like, yo, go listen to this. Yo, go check out my SoundCloud. A lot of people would like that. Too. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is annoying. Like rappers do that to me, bro. They be like DMing me, like, yo, go check me out. Like they'll be like, yo, you're nice. Like we should work. Like go mm-hmm. check out my music. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the time, I'll take that shit out and be trash. So, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna work with you, trash. But, like, I would never throw it in somebody's face. I'll post it, like, on Instagram or something or Snapchat mm-hmm. so people see it. And it's really on their own to, like, go check it out, go tell people. Like, mm-hmm. I know definitely back home people, like, have been telling, like, each other. Because, like, I'm hardly home, first of all. I'm, like, mm-hmm. usually always here in this area. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I went home for, like, Thanksgiving. And my dad, he was like, yo, are you famous? And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, like, I was talking to your cousin. And she was, like, at some party or whatever. And they were talking, like, they were like, oh, yeah, like, De Niro this, De Niro that. Oh, he's putting out that fire. And she was like, who's De Niro? And they were like, Xavier. And she was like, oh, shit, that's, like, my cousin. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like, so, like, yo, love, that's what I'm saying. Like, back home, like, they talk about it. Like, I don't have to go person to person to tell them. They just know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'd rather blow up like that, you know, word them out. Yeah, because a lot of people, like, and they be on 34th Street, 42nd, mm-hmm. and social media, they say, oh, go listen to this, go listen to this, go listen to this. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, I, I guess that's a good way to promote your music. Mm-hmm. But like you said, it's like, don't force, like, oh, yeah, go check this out. If you want to check it out, check it out on your own time. Yeah. Again. But, like, it's, 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 like I said, it's, uh, it's a good way to promote. Mm-hmm. You know, like I rather just put it out there and like people start like I feel like lately especially people are starting to pick up more like oh like he's good you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying because they actually take the time to listen right. and once you get that seed in people's ear where they hear your music and they like it they're gonna click it again next right. time you put out something you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so that build up is really what gives you a real fan base like I don't want I don't want a fake fan base I don't want fake followers like fake people who are not existent mm-hmm. I want a real fan base where I could have a show and like all real fans come and show love you know what I'm right. saying. Like, a lot of people, like, they try to, like, force people to listen to their music, you know, and the people don't really fuck with it, but they'll go support them, you know, because maybe they're popular or something. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, I want people to fuck with my music, you know, and later if I blow up, when I blow up, go get my music, go to my shows, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is rap in a plan A or plan B? <laughs> I would say it's a plan A. It's plan A. Because, like... I thought, like, I thought about this for a long time. I was like, because, like, if I'm not, all right, either way, I'm going to be good. Because if I don't do music, I'm going to be a doctor. So, like, mm. it's like, either way, I'll be good in life. But I'd rather choose the thing that I really love. You know what I'm do saying? You love being a doc- do you feel like you would love being a doctor? I would like it. I would like helping people and whatnot, but it doesn't touch music. You mm. know, music is my number one love, I feel like. Like, I did fell in love with music as I was, you know, recording music in the dorms back in the day. Mm-hmm. And I feel like there's nothing else I would rather do than that like, for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if I love something that much and I'm this young, I should give the time to try my hardest to get to that point and get what I want. Because then later I'm going to be like, fuck, why'd I stop? Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? Why, not, why I didn't make these choices? Sure. And I'm going to regret it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I'd rather just go hard now, do what I got to do, and blow up. What's your favorite song that you worked on <laughs> that you... Came uh, I got a song like that I put out or that like it's gonna go on my tape. That's well, 
Cause we wanna give a sneak preview of your tape. <laughs> I could. What's, well, what's your favorite song on your tape? Definitely all my recent songs on my tape are my favorite songs. Just because I worked hard on them, they sound the best, and like they just have like a lot of personal stuff. Mm-hmm. So I say my favorite song is um uh, this song called No Letting Up, and it's just cause the stuff I discuss in it, like I talk about like the main point of it is like I don't need like women, I don't really need friends. Like, all I need is me to get where I need to be, you know what I'm saying? And I'm never going to, like, let that stuff distract me from getting where I need to be. Mm. So, you know, I'll talk about, like, oh, like, breaking up with a girl. And, you know, I regret it, and I'm, like, tight about it. But, like, I'm not going to let that stop me from doing what I got to do to get this money. You know what okay. I'm saying? True. And, like, the second verse goes into, like, I talk about my grandmother because, like, she, um, she, like, lost her leg. Mm. She had like a problem and they had to cut her leg off so she like she can't work no more. She's in a wheelchair, you know, and she's like struggling like for money and stuff. Yeah. And I live with her back home. Like I don't live with my parents. My parents live in another state. Mm. So like she's the one I live with. So, you know, that's always on my mind. Like I need to hustle for her. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? I need to get this money so that my family could benefit. You know? That's a fact. I don't yeah. want them being in the ghetto, like doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. That's true. That's how everybody's cool. Yeah. I would say that's my favorite song just because it's motivational. That's what's up. I'm definitely going to tune into that too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I always hit everybody with this the daily discussion question. <laughs> if you were stuck on an island, uh-huh. stranded, what three things would you be okay with to happen? <laughs> other other than the boat to travel, <laughs> other than the boat to travel. What's the it like if I was gonna die on this island? Like three things. I yeah, like watch? yeah, you just gonna straight down the island. What's the yeah. three things you gonna have? That bitch. I don't know, I need a girl with me. <laughs> One, just so I have somebody to chill with, and you know, shit gets tight when you're alone. So I'll take a girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, an iPod with all my favorite music on it. Mm-hmm. And uh. But this hard. I supply beef patties because I just love beef patties. <laughs> I need some food. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. That's all I need on the island. <laughs> Before I go, are you are you a fan of Lil Pump? Fuck Lil Pump. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, it was a pleasure having you. Um, I think Lil Pump is top five by the way. I just want to let you know. I think Drake is top three, so we agree to disagree. We definitely agree to disagree because <laughs> I don't think Drake is nowhere on that list, but thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Dead Discussion. My boy X, um, definitely tune into his music on SoundCloud. Matter of fact, shout, shout out. <laughs> well, I got, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, young underscore denaro48. Um, my SoundCloud, one sound, O dot N O <laughs> oh, any sound. And uh, look out for that tape that I'm pulling out next next month. It's um, getting lit. It's definitely gonna be lit. I think I think she have a feature with Lil Pump, but that's my opinion. <laughs> I mean, um, if he wanted to hop on the track, I'll let him rock. Oh, you gonna let him rock? That's, 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 all, that's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> but definitely, guys, tune in to the other episodes of their discussion coming up. But this one right here, tune in. Definitely. Have a peace. See your life as a balance, I wanna know Alice If I will go sell at my soul for a palace Yeah, Hoping my shit just go viral I hop on the track and I rap like a psycho I'm Smoking crazy. on green, that's a gecko, no geico yeah. Smoking that moon rock until I'm a walking like my name is Michael She sum me up like it's lipo My head is so vital before I go swimming These women, no lifeboat, no yeah lifeboat. I do what I gotta I fuck when I wanna That bitch in Madonna, that, Madonna. that pussy gon' pile up piñata Yeah, I'ma bring the heat, Chris Bosh Teeth on fleet, no flaws Rockin' with no the flaws. up, no cross Niggas wanna no kill me, go try Nigga from the 845 Walkin' but I'm on cloud nine. Yeah, 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 fuck yeah, all these yeah. niggas Bitch like the way that I rock We gon' pull up like a sock Skirt. Pull up, we ride on your block Hop at the drop Niggas is stone like a rock yeah. Listen to 